It started with a show of unity. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva joining friends of Mitrice Richardson in a prayer circle, marking 10 years since the young woman's mysterious disappearance and death. Your pain is our pain. Your loss is our loss. It's a loss for the whole community, the community of Malibu, all of Los Angeles County. In 2009, Richardson was acting erratically at a Malibu restaurant, arrested on a misdemeanor, and brought to the sheriff's Lost Hill Station in Calabasas. The handling of her case was criticized and scrutinized after she was released from custody in the middle of the night without a cell phone, wallet, or car. Her skeletal remains were found nearby nine months later. When someone is in our custody, when then we, we owe that to them and to their families to make sure that they're not in harm's way. But that sense of solidarity quickly evaporated when the sheriff said he agrees with the three reviews of the case, which found no wrongdoing on the way it was handled. Unless we have more information, the results are not going to change. I don't care what anybody says because common sense says you do not release a young woman or anybody in the middle of the night with no means of caring for themselves. Dr. Rhonda Hampton is a psychologist whom Richardson interned with. She says she's disappointed that when Villanueva told her the case would be looked at with a fresh set of eyes, he simply meant he himself read the case reviews and agreed with them. We need him to say that what happened was wrong. The sheriff did say policies have changed because of this case. Personal belongings are gathered and returned to those in custody. They're allowed to stay inside stations until daylight, and deputies now undergo training in handling those with mental health issues, all in an effort to avoid a repeat of Mitrice Richardson's case, which remains unsolved a decade later. In Calabasas, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.